So we'll start formally, ma'am. Uh, respected Principal Sir, uh, Shri B. Vengana, uh, Vice Principal Sir, Shri Rajvi Tamar, Headmistress, ma'am, Shri Mati uh, Padmalata, uh, students, parents, and my dear colleagues, I am delighted to invite all of you to the online lecture on the topic Healthier and Fitter India, Building a Disease Free Nation. Our speaker is Dr. Danya Dharmapalan, who is an eminent pediatrician and infectious disease a specialist at Apollo Hospital, Navi Mumbai. She holds a postgraduate diploma in infectious diseases from Oxford University of UK. She is a fellow of the Indian Academy of Pediatrics and an active member of COVID-19 task force of India Academy of Pediatrics. She has authored around 50 publications in international journals of reference. Ma'am is an editor of many textbooks on pediatrics and is an invited speaker to international organizations like World Health Organization. Dr. Danya Dhammapalan is a passionate educator. Whatever I have narrated is only a glimpse of her achievements. I am sure all of us will find this lecture enlightening and very informative. So, uh, on behalf of uh, Principal Sir, VP Sir and HM Ma'am, I welcome Dr. Danya Dhammapalan. I request Dr. Danya Dhammapalan to please share her thoughts and experience with us. Ma'am, please, over to you. Thank you, thank you very, very much, much uh, Dr. for this for kind introduction, introduction and, and thank, thank you for inviting, inviting me here and, and uh, uh, my regards uh, 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 respected uh, uh, HM and uh, uh, principal. Uh, so, so I'm very I'm delighted, delighted to uh, uh, talk, talk about, about uh, 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 this, topic this topic that has been given to me, Healthy and Sector Nation. I'm just sharing my presentation. I hope you can see my presentation. Are you able to see? Oh, yes, so, yes. Uh, what I mean is, is, I'll just, just talk, talk uh, uh, in case at the end, end I can take your, take your questions. questions. And, uh, and uh, I did I not did know which, uh, uh, I mean, I was I not sure, sure if 9, 10, 10 standards, standards are, are attending. attending. I have, I have made, made the presentation basic, but I think it will apply to all. And I just, I know you must have studied this in your biology. But it but is important, it is important that, that, that uh, you know, you know that, that, that what are infections. infections. So infections, infections are, are uh, 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 infections uh, are caused by germs, by germs and that make you sick. sick. You get you fever, get cough, cough, cold, 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 loose motions and various other, other symptoms. symptoms. So these, so these germs, germs are, are different, different types of germs. germs. They, they can, can be viruses, viruses they can they be bacteria, parasites or fungus. And how and do these infections spread? spread? They spread, spread either, either through air, air when you cough or sneeze, or, or, or they can spread when you uh, drink contaminated water or eat, or eat food, food which is contaminated with those germs, or it can spread when you touch uh, those, those areas where those germs are present, and, and uh, also through blood, blood or infected needles. So, so uh, uh, most, most uh, uh, common the respiratory, respiratory infections, 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 which infections which cause, cause uh, uh, fee, cough, cough, cold, uh, uh, throat, throat pain. pain. So, these so usually are spread, spread by, by air. air. And as and you can see in this picture, picture when, when you sneeze, uh, there, there is a swarm of these small tiny, tiny water, water droplets, droplets that are formed and, and these droplets, they are called droplets because they are small water particles. And, and all these all droplets, droplets carry, carry the virus. The virus. And, and you don't, you don't see, see it. it. That, that is why we say that when you sneeze, you sneeze into, into, into the elbow. The elbow. So that, that you don't you disperse, disperse so much, so much virus, virus in the air. In the air. Now, now, what are what the, are the conditions, conditions which spread by air? By air. See, see, unfortunately, this is virtual. And I wish it was a physical one. Maybe... Many months, Many months later, later uh, when uh, I can I interact, can interact on, this. on this, but you know very well that, that, that uh, the cold, cold COVID-19 COVID all hold off, off, that spreads to air, air that's why you wear masks, masks influenza, influenza, pneumonia, tuberculosis, all these all illnesses spread by air. air. So, so uh, uh, what do you, you do uh, uh, when you are down with fever, cough, cold? It is advisable to stay home if you are sick. And uh, your mom, mom and dad will give you paracetamol, that's a that's fever, fever medicine, medicine to bring down, bring down the fever. fever. They may put in sensaline moisture through the, the, the nose, nose to relieve the nose clog or give or some cold and cough syrup, syrup and ask to drink a lot of your fluids. You stay home for a few days, you get better. 
Uh, most uh, of these infections, infections are fortunately caused by viruses, by viruses and, and uh, antibiotics, antibiotics do not work on viruses. viruses. So antibiotics, so antibiotics work on bacteria, bacteria. And, and antibiotics, antibiotics are given only if the doctor thinks it could be a bacterial infection. I want I to want introduce this, this concept at a younger, younger age. age. Uh, uh, there is a reason for it. I talk about it later. So, so uh, this uh, is this in general what you do when you are down with a viral infection. Uh, don't worry, this is not it's something, something complex, complex, but I just showed you a picture, picture of a child sneezing and you and saw the, how, how the droplets uh, were, uh, were transmitted. transmitted. So, so if you do not wear mask, mask, this is, this is what, what happens. happens. But, but if, if there is, there is a, just one layer of cloth, cloth, it reduces, reduces further and further when you wear your two layer cloth mask. Uh, uh, of, course, of course, the, the protection is greater when you wear a surgical mask. mask. So, there is, so there is such a big difference just, just by wearing a mask. mask you are obstructing the uh, uh, droplet, droplet to spread, to spread around, around you. you. And, and uh, if, if you have both the people, people wearing masks, mask, so, the so the exposure, exposure becomes really very low. low. So if, so if all the children in your class, class are wearing masks, mask, then, then there is at least chance, chance of exposure. Uh, now, uh, now, you must you have heard, heard why, why uh, uh, that, you that you should keep six feet distance. So why, why, that, why six feet distance? It's because these large droplets, mostly they fall within six feet. How much is six feet? It is like the length of your bed or sofa. So, so uh, if, uh, somebody if somebody is sick, sick especially, you must, must keep away uh, uh, six feet uh, distance. Uh, uh, and, and you must have also heard, heard about hand hygiene. It's also very important. Very important. Why, Why hand, hand hygiene? hygiene? Yes. Because, because these droplets, droplets, fall, droplets fall, fall on the surfaces, on the surfaces and if your hands hand touch the surfaces, surfaces, again your hands become, become contaminated with those germs. And with those and hands, hands, if you rub your eyes, eyes or your nose, you can, can self-inoculate self those or self-introduce self those germ viruses, viruses into you. you. That's, That's why, why masks, some distancing and, and uh, uh, hand, hand hygiene. hygiene. Now let me just give a small introduction of masks. Uh, you know, uh, you have heard of N95 masks, you have heard of surgical masks, they look like this. And these are the masks which we doctors wear in hospital because we work with COVID patients, we work in an environment where there is a lot of COVID in the air and you uh, know about the cloth mask. So which mask is advisable? See, N95 surgical mask is best protection. But please but remember, you cannot wash them. You cannot reuse them daily. Okay, you can okay, use them for only few hours, hours and you have to replace them. them. So the best, so the best is, is cloth mask. It, it gives pretty, pretty good protection. protection. And, and uh, you, should you should remember that, that it, should it should be breathable, it should be comfortable, it should be comfortable for you to breathe, breathe. it should cover your nose, mouth, chin. And there should not be gap in between anywhere the mask. mask. What you what should, should uh, not, uh, not wear is mask, mask which makes, which makes it difficult for you to breathe. There are some, there are some material, material like vinyl like mask, mask that should be avoided. Be avoided. And, and you must have seen mask with some round, round object, object on it. On it. So, so that, that uh, helps uh, your air to escape outside. So those masks are actually banned by the government. It should not be used. The mask with walls. And you don't and have to wear fair shoes to school, uh, like uh, these glass like shoes, because we don't because know, we don't how, know much how much it protects. protects. So, what's, so what's important, important is just wearing a two layer cloth mask, mask, as you can, as see, you can in see in this picture. picture. But wear a fresh cloth mask daily. We keep one, one extra, extra mask in the bag because, because if it if gets, it gets wet, wet for any for reason, any say you have sneezed or, or uh, while uh, playing you, you had you sweat, sweat uh, because, because of sweat, of sweat uh, uh, it became it wet. wet. You have you to have change, to change it. it because wet masks mask don't filter as, as well as dry masks. Mask. Don't touch don't the front part of the mask because that's the most contaminated part. And, and don't lower the mask to be heard. This is one this very common mistake that uh, people uh, don't, do, even elders, elders do, do, 
that that when they when want, they want to be heard they just lower the mask, the mask and talk, and talk. that should that not should be not done be there done. is no use, use of the mask, mask right right so you know you want to be heard to talk, talk aloud okay? okay remember to remember talk aloud but don't, but don't lower the mask, the mask. and i need any adjustment from the side when if you suppose your mask, mask is slipping down, down make adjustment from the from side, the side rather, rather than from the from front, the front. And, and if you have if you, have if you want to say scratch your nose in that in very natural, natural don't worry but you need to just perform hand hygiene you can use your sanitizer then you can you can take out your mask you can pick uh you can you can put your finger into the nose if it's very itchy if you can't control but again perform hand hygiene and wear back the mask but keep a distance from other students while you're doing that okay and after coming home you need to straight away head towards your wash basin where you can dip your mask into a cup of soapy solution and wash your hands that's the first thing to do when you come back home before you touch the surfaces around your house now let me talk about waterborne illnesses because the topic is about healthier illnesses so i need to to touch up on other things So when you so drink, drink water, water or eat food which is contaminated with germs, germs, you can you get can infection due to viruses, viruses bacteria, typhoid, cholera, cholera jaundice. You have heard of all these diseases. diseases. And uh, uh, what needs to be done when you have very watery nations is something called as ORS solution is given by your patient. it can be yeah, made, made in the house mukti bar shakkar thoda sa namak in one glass of water this helps to refresh you and prevent dehydration means that you do not lose a lot of water from your body you are giving back the water that you have lost through vomiting and loose motions and the and other water nutrients are coconut water limbu juice rice kanji cha water will contain salt, salt and sugar so if you have loose motions you are not going to drink pepsi cola or fruit juices from the market but this is what you are uh, you should have so that you become fit again Now, now mosquitoes are illnesses. illnesses you know you know mosquitoes spread several illnesses like malaria yeah. 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 very good very good. So, so there is bivax malaria falciparum malaria and the dengue chikungunya and this dengue mosquitoes they need a in fresh water so if there is water collection around your house inside your house to point out to your parents because especially in the dengue season these pests breeding grounds means where the mosquitoes lay eggs and this can cause dengue in the family so uh, what can uh, you do to prevent mosquito bites you can apply some creams are available you can get mosquito net so these help you to prevent mosquito bite then there are there are things which spread through contact see if you are if you have red eyes what is called as conjunctiva and so when you rub your eyes and you touch surfaces it can just spread to others And, and even uh, uh, if there is a pus, a wound which has pus on, on the body, so like uh, uh, you can see this picture. picture. So these can spread to contact to skin, and uh, therefore it is very essential that you wash your hands if you have touched the surface. And how do you wash your hands? When you wash your hands, it's just not uh, the front of the palm. You should wash behind also and in between fingers. Okay. So that's the way to wash hands. Or you can use hand sanitizer if uh, there is a wash basin nearby. So hand sanitizer also works well. Uh, so I was talking about antibiotics. So unnecessary use of antibiotics just sometimes makes the bug more powerful, and this is called as antibiotic resistance. I know this is uh, you are too early to know much about this, but I just want to introduce because you are the next generation. You are facing a lot of problems, and this is as big a problem as COVID-19. So just uh, that antibiotics should not be unnecessary. Necessarily used. 
and they should uh, uh, but at the same time if the doctor sees antibiotics are necessary for you when you go in we should take it in the correct dose and dosage now now uh, vaccination you must uh, all be having a vaccine charge you can uh, ask your mom that to show you they all contain vaccine for very important diseases like polio dpt hepatitis b So, so you must you follow must the schedule that is on the chart. the chart what, what do vaccines do it gives you immune power to, uh, to uh, fight against the germs when they invade the body so vaccines, vaccines are friends we are uh, to, to protect you okay and make you healthy and we have we very have good very vaccines good for all these all illnesses, illnesses. And COVID vaccines have also been uh, authorized for children. Uh, present to the program is for 15 years and above. Uh, there may be plans by the government to launch it in uh, to bring it down to your age. Uh, but we we'll have to wait for that. But at present in India, we have. Uh, these, uh, these vaccines, vaccines which have received license, psycho uh, 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 and cardiac vaccines, the latest vaccine which has received emergency use authorization. What are the rules? In general, is you must exercise, you must eat lot of fruits and vegetables, stretch a bit, drink a lot of water, read. So these are all very very good habits to keep you healthy. But, but uh, uh, you should not eat a lot of junk food. You can eat junk food for a while, a while for, uh, on a, on a, I mean, I mean, maybe occasionally junk food is still, still fine. fine. Occasionally, occasionally drinking soda is okay, okay, but, but you should not should indulge not in all this all too, too much. much. Similarly, Similarly television, television and mobile, and mobile because, of because of COVID pandemic, pandemic uh, uh, many children have been dropped onto the screen. So that is a big concern. Lack of exercise is a big concern. Children are complaining of back pain, eye problems, a lot of other problems. So now your age is not to sit in front of the screen. You must exercise, okay? And you can read a lot of books. You can do other activities, coloring, painting, and so on. So, so I just, just made this presentation, presentation short, short and simple. And simple. Uh, 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 are there parents, are parents uh, uh, here, here today? today? So, so uh, uh, just, just, I just, just need to assure parents, parents uh, uh, before I before stop, I stop that you know, uh, uh, parents, parents are concerned, concerned there are these different, different uh, uh, variants, variants that come that out. out. Uh, uh, and the uh, last was Omicron, and nobody, nobody knows if something, something come up, come up next. next. But uh, 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 there is time when uh, uh, I have, I have uh, uh, written, uh, written a lot in the newspapers about the best about time the best to go to school, and, school and, and that. that uh, uh, I mean, I mean, the schools. The when when is, it, is it the right uh, time to right open? open? But that was, but that was in 2020, 2020. and, uh, and uh, because then the vaccines, the vaccines uh, parents, uh, parents and grandparents were not, not vaccinated, and there were, and there were certain, certain concerns of opening school, school, school in 2020, 2020. after the after first week. So this, this article was then. But, then. but now we are in 2022, and we are in a much better situation. We know about COVID much better in this, in this, after these two years, years, as well as the large, large population, population is vaccinated, the elderly are also, also receiving precautionary doses. So, so uh, uh, I would say I would that say it's, it's a much, much better, better uh, uh, environment. The risk of keeping the child at home is more now than benefits. And I guess this covid appropriate behavior, behavior it is a much it's safer safe time, time to send the children physically to school no it is your personal decision which is just a feeling children uh, teachers they are open for questions you have to ask one by one you can raise your hand if you have got a question you, even you can put in chat box also uh, yeah avika is saying that she is using uh, homemade orange juice okay good avika uh, children other questions if you have got questions, you can, you are free to ask. Uh, a question 
by Arushi Mori. Uh, ma'am, uh, which <laughs> mask is better to wear, N95 or surgical? I think Arushi, ma'am, I've already told. Yes, so yeah, N95, N95 is, is the best, the best and surgical and mask comes, comes next, next, but, but uh, uh, these are these for are hospital, for hospital use, use or for people, people who work with COVID patients. COVID patients. As I said, As I you said, have you to have discard the mask, the mask in, after you've worn it. Yes, ma'am. When we used to wear the cloth mask, it was mostly most of the reading and reading and reading and but basically it's for your comfort as well as uh, you need to wear, use it, reuse it, right? You need to wash the other, uh, you don't need uh, N95. The next question by Arya, ma'am, when will our vaccine come? Okay, so uh, you know that co-vaccine, uh, we are working for two years about, but we'll have to wait for the government to approve for your age. We hope it will, hope come, it will come soon because we are checking if vaccines are completely safe for you because we want the vaccine to be completely safe and so that uh, you don't have any trouble after taking vaccine. Uh, but, uh, I just want to say vaccines, yeah. uh, if there, I, I know there is a 10 times uh, girl here, uh, there may be many more. So, so uh, what happens is after vaccine, there is a chance of getting fever for next or next eight hours, which is which can be easily treated by paracetamol. You can, I mean, these are the uh, uh, minor side effects you get after the vaccine. You can get fever, you can get body ache, or you can get pain at the injection site. But that can be relieved with the uh, paracetamol if you get fever. Chilla, any other questions? Ma'am, the next question is by teacher. After getting COVID once, is the chance of getting it again completely eradicated? Uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, no. no. So, so, even if you have got COVID once, once, you can get, can get uh, uh, say, say, I mean, I mean uh, uh, people who have got, people got COVID, uh, COVID last, last year have suffered this year too. Uh, so, uh, because, especially when the variant, variant changes. changes. And, uh, and, but, uh, but there is, there is in, in not only to given by the infection, infection but we don't know how long it lasts. That is why even if you suffer from COVID, we ask to take, take vaccine. The next question is, uh, is it important for two to five years kids to wear masks? Okay. Okay. So that's a, so that's a uh, great uh, question. Great question. Uh, see, uh, below uh, two below years, two years, hundred percent, we do not advise. advise. Two to five years, years uh, uh, again, again be careful, be careful because, because uh, uh, children, children sometimes the mask fit very, very tightly. Very tightly. And, if and if the child, child is not able to express, to express that the mask, that the mask is, is, there's some breathing issue with, with the mask, the mask that becomes that dangerous. dangerous. Uh, uh, so, so uh, uh, two to five years five can, years can wear, a mask wear a mask comfortably, comfortably but, but uh, below two years, absolutely, it's better not to make them wear. Rather, just, rather keep just keep a safe distance. distance. But, but two to five years, I again have, have to be careful, be careful about how the mask is worn. It should not, it should uh, not uh, cause problems. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm
ma'am the next question is that uh, i also read uh, somewhere in certain blood groups uh, that certain blood groups are more prone to the virus than others is it a myth or is there any reality to this statement i i, I think it is a myth uh, uh, i'm not a bit mom why is but Uh, grandparents who do not have so much immunity, or people with diabetes, or or heart problems, they all have these. They have more severe cases of illness. So, but at the same time, fortunately, a vaccine has given them a lot of protection. So, since uh, vaccines are available uh, and booster doses are available, you need not worry if somebody in your family are old or have these conditions. If they are vaccinated, it is safe. Neeraj, Niranjan, I got any question? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ma'am, it has been reported uh, that people faint after strenuous exercise, exercise as a post-COVID symptom, and one doctor in Canada died a few day, uh, days back after a morning exercise. So, what is it? Reason. Reason. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are uh, some long, there are some long COVID uh, problems, problems that we have seen that, seen that even that after you have recovered from COVID, 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 you continue, continue to, to have uh, some have problems. There can be persistence of sleeplessness, or there can be heart problems. So we generally ask to avoid strenuous exercise after suffering from COVID, and there have been several such problems. Uh, I mean, I mean, but fortunately, this has happened in adults. In children, generally, we have not come across this. But by and large, after you suffer some COVID, it is always better not to indulge in strenuous exercise for few months. Yeah. Uh, if we get COVID once, is there any chance we get again? Yes. Yes. And, and I have uh, answered that. that. Uh, I need to be like, like, yeah, like three months that we will not get COVID. Something like that. Time period is there? Uh, uh, we we never know never because, because if there is a new variant in circulation, we still can get. Uh, natural immunity may be three months, but it's not. Nobody knows, nobody knows how, long. how long. But uh, three, uh, three months is fairly a good time to think that, that actually, actually immunity will work. work. Ma'am, from where COVID starts spreading and how? Uh, Okay. okay. So that's a good that's question. A good question. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, there is this. Uh, uh, you know, it started from the Wuhan. The wild, uh, the, the market. It sold uh, animals, so wildlife. Uh, uh, so it. So it bats are are uh, uh, what what is considered as the new virus. virus. Uh, uh, I mean, there is a debate whether it, that it that has been hit from the lab. The lab. We don't have any evidence for that yet. Uh, but what, uh, is but what is important for you all children, children to understand, to understand is, is uh, uh, that uh, as we, as we uh, interact, uh, interact more, more with wild, wild animals, animals because of deforestation, because of, deforestation, because of our because activities, of uh, uh, we come in contact with, with germs, germs that, are that are present in their, in their uh, bodies. Uh, bodies. Many of the pandemics, almost fifty percent have come from animals. Whether it is H one N one, there's a lot of swine, swine flu that came from pig. So it is very important that we live in harmony with nature. The more we encroach into their territory, the more problems we cause for ourselves. And yeah, do we require to take multivitamins regularly when we go to school in April? Ah. I would say, I say you eat, you eat balanced, balanced, healthy food regularly rather than, than taking multi-vitamins because, because there is a saying 
that that let food be your food medicine, be your medicine and, not and not medicine be your food. Be your food. Okay. okay. Then the next question is: Do the vaccines work on everybody? Vaccines, vaccines uh, they do uh, work they do on work everybody, on but, but there are there people, are people whose whose immune system, system is, is low, low, so they so they, they, do, they, do, they do not act so well so in those uh, uh, individuals. So they are, so the, ones they are the ones who need the most. But but generally, they work, work on everybody. The question is that if we do a antigen testing, will it show the correct result? What are the chance, chances it will show wrong? If if antigen, antigen is positive, positive take it positive. positive. If antigen, if antigen is, negative, is negative, you may be COVID, maybe positive. COVID positive. positive. So if there is doubt, then you have to go for PCR. Which vaccine variant is the best, both in terms of safety and quality? Vaccine, vaccine variant, variant or vaccine. Or vaccine. Vaccine, 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 okay, yeah. presently, of the available vaccine, vaccines, uh, co-vaccine uh, is, is uh, safe uh, for you all. all. Corbivax has, has just come, come but sublimate vaccines are also safe. safe. Uh, the uh, data, data is not available, not available in public. public. I mean, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure the, the experts, experts are looking are into it before it is given for immunization to you all. So the reactions of COVID vaccine, yeah, 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 can we have an infection? No. Covid vaccine doesn't give you Covid. Ma'am, I have asked a question about what are the symptoms you can do because I have never heard of any symptoms. It's called a post-pandemic mosquito bite. Okay, you have not. Okay, that's a great question. Thanks for asking. So, dengue, what are the symptoms is that you get fever? Uh, and uh, uh, what, uh, happens what happens is that you start passing less urine. Okay, okay. That's a very, That's important, a very important sign. sign. When you, your you fever goes down, you, you start passing less urine, and you can have vomiting, and you can have rash on the body. So, so uh, uh, when there is when you are taken to the doctor, the doctor suspects it's dengue. They do some blood tests, and if it shows dengue, the platelets fall down and dengue. They ask you they to ask drink a lot, lot of water so that you pass you urine pass well. well. So you must in dengue to, to be able to pass urine well. well. So you must drink a lot, lot of water with infected, infected with dengue. Ma'am, the next question is how many times a person can get COVID? How many times a person? I do not have that answer. But I do not. It depends on. I mean, the behavior of the person also, right? If the person is vaccinated or. But, but uh, there's no uh, there's answer, no to, answer it. to it. Hopefully, hopefully not more than two in a life. Ma'am, why there is no virus in the orange branch like BC before Christ? Why there was no virus before Christ? That's not true because all these germs have come before even we we came in the world. So remember that the microbes, the bacteria, viruses, they were here before us. So they have so an have advantage, an advantage over, over us. So we better be careful about them. If we have to, if we have taken the first dose of vaccine, then is it necessary to take the second dose also, or is it enough? No, it's no, not, it's enough. not enough. Uh, you uh, have you to have complete the. the oh, you have to complete both the two. Otherwise, your partition will be very partial. So there's a question: Why is it necessary to wait at least three months to take the second dose? The time frame between first and second. To be very honest. There is no there need is no to, wait to wait for, for actually, actually medically, medically there is no there need is to no wait. To wait. Uh, uh, after you have after suffered, you have some, suffered COVID, some COVID, you can, you can actually, actually take, the take the vaccine after recovery. After recovery. But, but uh, we uh, have to we also, have look, also at look at the programmatic, programmatic logistics, logistics issues, issues availability, availability of vaccines, of vaccines and, and therefore, therefore this is, this the policy is not just made purely on science. I mean the government has to look at a lot of other things. So that, so is, that is, it is, it is, uh, uh, it is best it is that it is that given at three months, three months because, because, because there is some protection by the natural, the natural immunity. immunity. But, uh, but uh, if you go, if, if, if you are in the US, US, you may receive it immediately after, after recovery. recovery. So it is a country-to-country country policy, policy based, based on the logistics. On the logistics. 
I will take my second dose of Covaxin tomorrow. I had taken my first dose 27 days ago. Last year when my parents and uh, grandparents took their doses, the gap between the doses was much larger, about 6 months. They had taken COVID shield. Why is there not a particular time period set for the vaccine for all? Okay, so vaccine, so even COVID shield, when it was introduced, when it was, introduced, it was, it was one, month one month apart. But that time, that time uh, we did not we have, have enough availability, availability of vaccine. Of vaccine. Yes. So, so these, these vaccine, vaccine policies, they change as per the situation in the country and uh, the, availability the availability of vaccines, of vaccines to be given to, be given to all. To all. So, uh, so it's not it's purely not on, purely science. on science. science. Okay, every time it's, it's not purely, it's purely on, science. on science. A lot of other, lot of other factors, factors are, considered. are considered. The next question is, uh, why should 10 to 12 year student, students should not take vaccine? Uh, there is uh, nothing, like, nothing they like they should they not, should not take, take vaccine. vaccine. It's, it's just that, just that take, take it when the, when the government allows. allows. Because, because uh, the, uh, the vaccines, vaccines have been introduced, have been introduced in, a in a safe manner. manner. We, have we have started with 15, 15 to 18 years. years. We are looking into, into safety issues, issues the newly the new, uh, uh, authorized, authorized vaccines. So they look, so look into all that. And once they approve it for use, we can use. But like for example in the US, they are giving even a three year old. Uh, uh, the no, no, Pfizer, no, vaccine. Pfizer vaccine. So it is not, it is not about, uh, about uh, that uh, vaccines, vaccines are developed, are developed for, for all ages, for all ages about, two about two years. But let's but wait let's for wait our, our country, country policy, policy based, based on, on the vaccine, vaccine, vaccine that are available in our country. Our country. The data, the data, data. That is That's a question. Uh, in winter season, we mostly get cold. So if instead of cold, we got COVID-19. So how to know that we have COVID, not cold? Okay, so, okay, so uh, that's, uh, a nice that's a nice question. question. Uh, uh, it, it cold, cold uh, can, uh, I mean, you don't even have to wait for winter. Cold can happen any time. Uh, that is uh, the problem that, the problem that we doctors face doctors when you come to us with cold, cold and fever, fever uh, whether uh, you are whether you have, have COVID-19 or not. Or not. Uh, but uh, in, it, it is, nobody can tell just by examining you. Uh, uh, unless we test, test because they look absolutely, absolutely similar. similar. That is why that when is there is an outbreak, it is better to better assume, assume that you might, that you if you have fever and cold, and cold, that it cold, might be COVID, COVID and stay home. home. But unless, but unless tested, tested, nobody, nobody can, can differentiate, differentiate it from cold, from cold and cold. And COVID. The next question is, uh, do they test the vaccine on anyone before releasing it? Of course of they do. Course they do. Of course there are these phase one to trials. Uh, the next question is why it, it is necessary to to take vaccine. Okay, that's okay, also that's a very, also good, very question good question because there's a lot of debate, lot of debate because, because the illness, the illness is, mild is mild in children. Generally, Generally uh, uh, I mean, it is extremely important for adults and grandparents, and grandparents of, course, of course, those with those immune compromise. But for but children, children, it is a mild, a mild illness. illness. So there are so questions there are being raised why is it not necessary. So, so uh, uh, that is still debatable, debatable, but, but uh, there are uh, there issues, are issues that, we that we have seen in children, children also after, after COVID, COVID uh, like uh, I like talked about MIC, which requires hospitalization, then there are issues of children, children getting diabetes after COVID, after COVID. and children who have, have heart problems, liver problems, problem, they also they require also protection. So, vaccine needs to be approved for children for sure. But, uh, but at the uh, same time, it is not, it is not as, as uh, uh, essential, essential maybe, maybe as if you as compare it with, it with uh, the, uh, the uh, elderly, uh, elderly adults. adults. But, it's, but, but if you have a good, have vaccine, a good vaccine and a safe, and a safe vaccine, vaccine, why not why protect, not protect yourself? yourself? That's her point. point. Uh, Amulya, I think uh, that question was answered earlier. About 8 to 13 years children should not take vaccine. So we'll go to the next question. In Aryogya Setu, how will the children register for vaccination? It is only it when is the only government when approves, 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 then everything then will fall in place. place. If government it hurts, hurts uh, uh, and uh, once it announces, then, then, then right now right you now cannot, you cannot uh, uh, register unless, register unless you know, above, you know, above, you know, above, you're above 15. 15. I think uh, any more questions from student side or teacher side? 15 years old or 15 years old? Sorry? Is it 15 years old or 15 years old? 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 It is 15, 15 to 18, 18 but they are given a birth year, year, right? Year, I think right? the parents must have touched on that. Uh, I mean, I'm sure one of the parents, sure the parents, the parents know this. Date has been done. I'm not aware of the exact date that they are given. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मैम इफ यू हैव एनी लंग रिलेटेड इश्यूज इज इट सेफ फॉर एस टू टेक द वैक्सीन If you have you lung have related lung issues, issues, the COVID, the COVID infection, infection will be, would be very dangerous. Very dangerous. So it is so better, it's better that, that uh, you uh, take the vaccine. Uh, any more questions? But again, But lung related lung issues, issues are, are also different, are different types. types. Okay, so if, if you are just uh, 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 breathing problem, uh, mild breathing problem, problem, that is fine. That is fine. You don't have to worry. Have to worry. Uh, I'm just saying just that those who have severe lung problems, they need a vaccine. Our small pox and cowpox vaccine virus belong to the same family. But this has no practical relevance for you all. What all kind of vaccines? Yeah, what all thing does a vaccine contain? I think again, uh, ma'am, I uh, already told this. So, uh, so uh, if you ask, do you need it? If you have taking vaccine, can you still have COVID? Yes, you can have COVID even if you take the vaccine. You must have heard of people getting COVID. Yes, if you even if you Get COVID after vaccination. It is usually mild. It's not as severe. Ma'am, children can also have COVID. Even one day baby can have COVID. Okay, so COVID affects all ages. But fortunately, COVID is mild in your age group. So you are blessed by that. By that. So I think uh, with this, uh, we'll complete the question and answer session. Again, is there any relevant question? You can ask it now. Ma'am, from the video, 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 from the video. With medicine, with medicine, simple medicine, medicine like paracetamol. Like of course, they course recover. They recover. Without, Without vaccine, vaccine is basically to prevent, prevent, not to not treat. To treat. Sir, is there any other relevant question, please? Yeah, Arya. Yeah. Um, 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 um,